Welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris and you're watching Ways and Trails. I love good outdoor gear. When I find something that's as good as this bag, I want to tell you about it. This is the Western Mountaineering Mega Light 30 degree down sleeping bag. This has replaced the bag I was running for several years, the Nemo Salsa. And this bag is so good, this old bag is going to go in the, in the retirement pile. So let's hop into some details and tell you what makes this bag so great and well worth the money. Once again, this is the Mega Light, part of Western Mountaineering's Extreme Light series bags. All of them are less than two pounds. Some of them less than one pound. That is pretty darn light, especially for a sleeping bag. Now they don't skimp out and go with low, low quality items. The down is 850 plus fill. That's right, 850 plus. They say it's probably 900, but given when you pack into a bag or using a real real world they kind of compresses down they don't go by that oh let's reach for the stars and see how high of a limit we can get so 850 plus down nylon shell the nylon shell itself is dwr treated so it has a little water resistance to about 1200 millimeters hydrostatic head so it's gonna go ahead and beat some water off it's not exactly waterproof but it'll bead water off inside it's an ultra smooth ultra fine nylon taffeta coated liner this feels like silk. This feels really light. And for as light as it feels, it's pretty darn strong. 12 denier nylon. I actually feel that this 12 denier nylon is stronger than a rain fly in one of my ultralight tents. That's how good this bag feels and it doesn't feel heavy. The Mega Light comes in at one pound, eight ounces for the six foot model. That's right, one pound, eight ounces for this bag, four inches of loft continual baffles all the way around. So you want to get, if you want to go ahead and shift down from the, from the top of you to underneath you because you're running a little cold, you can do that. And then all the down shifts all the way around, except for obviously where the zipper is. In addition to the continuous baffles, the bag itself has a full length YKK zipper that goes all the way down. And this bag has only a front draft collar. You can go ahead and see that right there. There's a front draft collar. It has a hood and it's able to cinch the hood as such with this little cinch, a little bit of Velcro to keep that together. So when you're tossing and turning at night and this kind of weird, I thought was gonna be weird, Dacron tape that runs on the inside of the zipper to give it some stability, but this is actually pretty light, pretty stiff and you don't feel it when you sleep. For a mummy bag, it's spacious. This is a six foot model. I'm not six feet and I swim in this bag. At the shoulders, it's 64 inches all the way around. At the foot box, it's 39 inches. And you can see there's a pile of down right here in that foot box to keep your toes nice and warm. On the website, this is rated for a 30 degree bag. That is extremely conservative. The EN rating for this is 22 degrees, which is kind of where your average guy, because guys are running hotter than, than women, would sit there and feel okay without any type of major heat loss. It might be a little chilly at 20 degrees, but you're not gonna have any, any kind of danger issues. I ran this bag for my last hunting season. When I was out there, it was 42 degrees when I got in the tent. I was hot. I was very, very warm in this bag. I had to unzip it, ran just a couple base layers. When I woke up in the morning, it was 35 degrees and I was cozy. Um, simple base layers, little hat, nothing crazy. I've ran that bag, the Nemo Salsa, in a similar condition with a down jacket on and full pants. That gives you an idea of the difference between the lot. This is an 850 plus fill, that is a 600 fill. So much less lighter weight, more loft equals more insulation. This bag comes in three sizes, the five and a half foot, the six foot, and the six and a half foot. And the weight difference between all those is one ounce. So this is the six foot and one pound, eight ounces. The five and a half is one pound, seven ounces. And the six and a half foot is one pound, nine ounces. So even that little extra six inches is very little weight. These things are made to be light. As such, it is not, in my opinion, a great winter bag. You want this kind of for that anything under two seasons, spring and, and summer into the fall. Once you start getting snow, you're not gonna want a bag like this. It's not as breathable, especially for high moisture environments. This fabric does not breathe as well. You want something a little bit more breathable like a microfiber, which Western Mountaineering also makes microfiber bags. 
This is a great two season bag, full conditions under two seasons, st stretch it out into the three season, definitely not a four season bag, but this is a great, great, great two season, two and a half, three season bag, depending on the conditions you're going out there. I would use it from spring. It's gonna be a little hot during the summertime, but you can always uh, unzip and then late fall, just so when that frost burn comes in and it starts to get everything uh, dried out for the winter time, just before the uh, snows come in. I carry this in the Sierra Nevadas. I carry this in my pack and it packs down small. It packs down about the size of a large grapefruit. The Nemo salsa packs down to the size of a, of a one and a half liter bottle. And for comparison, I have a synthetic browning sleeping bag, which is a lot heavier. For, for a weight comparison, this bag comes in a, one pound, eight ounces. That Nemo bag comes in at two pounds, nine ounces. And my synthetic, which I don't use anymore unless it's car camping, my synthetic browning bag comes in at three pounds, nine ounces. And this packs down half the size of that Nemo bag and probably three times as small as that browning bag. And we're gonna get to that later. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at what the zipper looks like and inside the bag, you can see when we open it up here, it's all continuous baffled all the way through. The zipper runs all the way down to, to the foot box. You open it up and it has that little nylon uh, or Dacron strap that protects the zipper, gives it a reinforcement to the zipper. It has a nice hood. I like that hood to go ahead and put my little Nemo pillow inside there. As for features, it is a sleeping bag. That is it. There's no extra features, but all the stitching, all the materials that West Samaritan uses is of top quality. This is this is a good bag. This is a bag that's gonna last you a lifetime and they back that up. There's a lifetime warranty on these bags. Something fails on, on, on this sleeping bag, you send it in, they fix it. Handmade in the United States, lifetime warranty. With all that, that means these bags are not cheap. If there's one thing that I found out about outdoor gear, buy once, cry once. I have that synthetic sleeping bag. I have that Nemo Salsa sleeping bag. I have three more sleeping bags before I bought any of those two. And I finally fell in love with this Mega Light. In the Extreme Light series, there are 12 different types of sleeping bags. For the mummy, mummy bags, you have the Mega Light here, which is good for 30 degrees. You have the Ultra Light, which is good for 20 degrees. And you have the Versa Light, which is good to 10 degrees. Mind you, those are conservative ratings. And these bags go possibly another full 10 degrees lower than those comfort ratings listed on the website. Like I said, 30 degrees, I was pretty darn warm, mid, mid 30s. We're gonna go ahead and compare the loft of the Mega Light to the Nemo Salsa. As you can see, there's a distinct difference in these bags. These bags were stored both in their cotton storage bags and the difference is almost a two to one ratio in terms of loft. And when we fold it over, the loft is even more pronounced between these bags. That 600 fill in the Nemo Salsa versus the 850 plus fill in the Mega Light. When we look at the synthetic browning bag, that difference is even more remarkable. We have a full polyester shell in this bag. We have a full polyester filling. Both materials are heavy. Both materials don't provide the greatest weight to warmth ratio. And you can see that there is a night and day difference between your synthetic polyester fill on this bag versus your straight out high quality down sleeping bag. Some people are concerned with down getting wet. These bags, both inside and outside, have a durable waterproof coating on the material itself, on the shells inside and out. But Western Mountaineering uses untreated down for their fill. They believe through their testing and whatnot that the oils that the goose have naturally on their feathers are superior in quality and don't wear off as the synthetic down treatment that some manufacturers use. Online, anywhere you go, you look for these Western Mountaineering bags and they are highly rated. They are considered one of the last bags you will buy. Granted, you may need a different temperature rating depending on the environment that you go into, whether you want to go ahead and have um, a three season bag, a true four season bag and do some snow camping or even cowboy camping without any type of exterior shelter, whether it be a tent or a teepee. For packability, what we're gonna do is break these three bags down into their packs and show you the size comparison when they're not even compressed in the compression bag, but in their little storage stuff sacks. 
Okay, we have the three sleeping bags in the included factory stuff sack. Now these stuff sacks don't give you great compression. It's just kind of a uh, middle of the road type stuff sack. What I like about the Western Mountaineering stuff sack is that the inside of this is treated with some kind of silicone or polyurethane, possibly a, a, a silicone itself to make the stuff sack itself water resistant. This is a Nemo salsa and that does not have any type of a treatment. And this is the Browning synthetic bag. We're gonna go ahead and compress these three down and see what kind of size we get right here on camera. So just go ahead and compress that down. And he, oops, we're gonna go ahead and compress this down. And you can see very quickly, we have that small footprint. You put that in your pack, then you're gonna take up a little room. Likewise, Nemo salsa, which has less fill power and it's starting to bulge out a little larger. Now this diameter is different, so take that into account. The stuff sack has less diameter than the Nemo Salsa. And of course, if you're ever familiar with a synthetic bag, you're not going anywhere. This is just, that's a pillow basically, a three pound pillow. When you order a high quality down bag, whether it be from Western Mountaineering or someone like Nemo, you should get three pieces the bag itself, a stuff sack, and a large cotton storage bag. The reason for that is you never want to store, especially long-term, a down bag compressed. Now for a couple weeks, a couple months, this is not going to be detrimental to the feathers itself as long as the bag is dry. If the bag is wet and you store it compressed, you're, you're going to run into some problems. The, the, the loft itself can become damaged or compromised. Um, there's ways to go ahead and bring that back, but every time you store it wet, compressed, you're gonna subtract a little bit from that loft each and every time. When you get the bag home, you wanna make sure you open it up, let it air out, and store it in, when dry, in a large cotton sack. So this comes from Western Mountaineering to store your bag in there, and I have one for the Nemo bag, which is someplace on the floor. Cons, what I thought I was not, was not gonna like about the bag is that kind of nylon taffeta liner that they use, but it actually feels pretty good. It feels cool when you get hot and you don't feel like you're gonna overheat. It kind of has that middle of the line, middle of the road type of temperature feel to it. Other than that, I don't know of any, any cons. I would like a full draft collar, but you get what you pay for and you already spend enough on this bag. This bag has a little extra add-ons, such as the pocket for the Nemo Philo pillow on the Western Mountaineering Mega Light. I go ahead and throw that pillow in the hood, and when I toss and turn, because I'm a side sleeper, it doesn't, it doesn't shift as much. This bag also comes with a little pocket for your phone, but when you're in the backcountry, your phone's not gonna work. I just keep it in a tent or keep it somewhere nearby, so as, for maybe I get a uh, satellite message in the middle of the night. I don't have to go looking for it into the bag itself. I know where exactly my phone is. Some of those features are nice, but a sleeping bag has one purpose. That is to keep you warm and comfortable and pockets and the little extra add-ons don't fit the bill. I'd rather spend the money on a bag that's gonna keep me warm, keep me comfortable, and not have that demoralizing factor of being freezing out in the backcountry, yearning for my bed at home. The Mega Light, 30 degree bag, one pound, eight ounces, down, 850 plus fill, treated with a durable water resistant coating inside, outside, so any type of moisture is gonna beat off. Who's it for? It's for the backpacker. Car campers may find this to be overkill, especially given the price of emission. This is gonna replace my Nemo bag. I carry this for four years, but now it's gonna go to the pile of gear that my wife gets to use. This is gonna be my go-to bag, especially out here in Sierra Nevada backcountry and for hunting season. Now the bag itself is not cheap, but good quality gear hardly ever is. It's a cost of admission, but if you treat your gear well, especially something like this, it's gonna last you for decades. Keep it clean, keep it dry, store it the way you're supposed to, and this is gonna last a while. And buy once, cry once versus my five other sleeping bags. All right, if you liked this video, give it a big thumbs up. Click over to here to see more, and I'll see you guys next time.